later in this video. Hey waitress, I'll actually take a hamburger. Where, are you talking to me? And a side of gravy. Wait a second, is that Gaston? Hello, pleasure to see you. Please have a seat. I'm having lobster crepes. We are in France after all. Uh, how much longer do we have to keep these on? Anna, it's not going to work if you keep taking your mask off. What are they supposed to do again? They're supposed to make your face glow. And done. <laughs> How do I look? I definitely think I see a glow. All right, nails next. Actually, I have to go, you guys. I have a date with Prince Adam tonight. Oh, what are you guys doing? He's gonna make us dinner at the castle. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Um, Adam, I, uh, I couldn't help but notice that you've become the beast again. Adam, you did eat today, right? You know you always turn back into the beast when you get hangry. I'm not hangry. Well, the Prince Adam I know has good manners. Uh, I gotta go. Okay. He'll be back in three, two, one. <sighs> Sorry, Belle. You were right. I let myself get too hangry again. That's much better. However, I think we can still drink soup the old-fashioned way. Remember? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Dinner was delicious, Adam. Thanks again. Of course. I'm sorry that I was a real beast earlier, literally. No worries. I get it. It's a tale as old as time. All right, I'm going to my dad's house, but I'll see you tomorrow. You got it. I'll pick you up at 10. Sounds good. Bye. Gaston! LeFou, what are you guys doing here? And where did this outdoor cafe come from? Belle? Oh my god! I didn't know you'd be coming through here when I tracked your phone and said you're in Japan! First of all, I knew you were tracking me, so I shipped your tracker to Japan! And second of all, stop tracking me! Woo, Val! That's okay, I forgive you. Oh, that smell! What are you guys eating? My favorite squirrel sandwich! Mmm, my favorito! <laughs> That's the grossest thing I've ever heard. LeFou, you are disgusting, my girlfriend. Belle, I've been working on some talents to impress you. That's great and all, Gaston, but I've, I've really got to go home. I've got some things that I've got to do. Here it goes. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> <sighs> Isn't he perfect? Oh my gosh, where did you come from? <laughs> great job, Gaston. Oh, no, 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 don't encourage him. That's super gross. Wait, where'd they go? See, Belle, I can marry any girl in the village, but I choose you. Uh, yeah, and he chooses you. Aw, Lucky. <laughs> Have you guys met him? Are you under a spell? No way you actually think this guy is a catch. How did you get over there so fast? So what do you say, Belle? Gaston, there is no way I would marry someone with bad manners and a big loud voice like yours. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go home and you need to clean up your spit. So gross. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. LeFou, go fetch me five dozen eggs. Oh, five second rule. Aha, uh -huh. Belle, you're just in time. I've invented a machine that'll take cold food and make it hot. Oh, Dad, I think that's what a microwave does. Oh, man! People are always taking my inventions before I can finish them. Anyway, how was your day? It was pretty good, until I ran into Gaston and LeFou. I thought it was just them making me feel sick, but I think I might actually be sick. I don't feel so good. Here! Why don't you take this? I got it from the Enchanted Forest. It's supposed to be a cure-all and help you sleep. Okay, if you say so. Gaston, I brought you your eggs. Uh, LeFou! Oh, LeFou, I scared you. That just proves the point I was just about to say. If only I had a softer voice and prince-like mannerisms, I would be less intimidating and Belle would want to marry me. Don't worry, Gaston. I'm a few steps ahead of you. Like an egg, I hatched a plan. 
All right, Belle, I'm gonna go work on my invention. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Dad. I'm just gonna try to sleep it off. And Belle, did I tell you about my latest invention? All you have to do is clap your hands and the lights turn off. Oh, I better turn them back on. Thanks, Dad. Okay. All right. Belle, oh, Belle. Gaston? Gaston? No, Belle, it's me, Prince Adam. Oh, sorry, you sound different. Silly belly, are you ready for our fun day? Is it 10 already? Ooh, it feels like I just went to sleep. Okay, I'll change and I'll meet you in the living room. All right, I am ready to go. What do you have planned? Beach day, shopping? I'm going to teach you how to hunt bunny rabbits, Belle. What? Okay, this has got to be a joke. Where are the cameras? Where are the cameras? This is no joke, Belle. Adam, why would you eat rabbit? Because I'm the best hunter in town. How about we go get some breakfast? Can't do anything on an empty stomach, right? Good point. I know just the place. Follow me. Ooh, ah, mussels, mussels. <laughs> I really hope no one recognizes us. This is super embarrassing. Belle, why do you have those sunglasses on? Oh, you know, uh, sensitive eyes. Um, let's hurry and get there. Go, go fast, fast. Yeah, sorry again about the glasses. It's totally not that I'm embarrassed to be here because you're acting like a completely different person. It's, it's really just my eyes. Were you saying something, Belle? Sorry, I was just thinking about how good I would look in red and yellow. All right, here are the dozen eggs you ordered. Sure you don't want a sandwich or something? I would actually love a... This is great! Ugh, gross. I mean, we're good, thanks. Wait a second, is that Gaston? He looks so... distinguished. Hey waitress, I'll actually take a hamburger. Where, are you talking to me? The waitress isn't here. Do you think I'm the waitress? And a side of gravy. Oh, I, okay. Why, Belle, hello. Pleasure to see you. Please have a seat. I'm having lobster crepes. We are in France after all. Wow, Gaston, I've never seen this side of you. You're so well behaved. Oh, Belle, so witty. But that's because you're also so smart and clever. Thank you. Would you like to come to dinner with me tonight and share a cheese fondue? I don't mean to impose if you have other plans. Fondue is my favorite. How did you know? Because that's what a sophisticated person such as yourself eats. So what do you say? I'll think about it. Um, I've got to get back. Prince Adam's waiting. Ta-ta. You know, Belle, you are so lucky to be my girlfriend. I could date any girl in the village. That sounds oddly familiar. Oh, hi, Prince Adam. Oh, he's so handsome. Oh. How do you guys keep appearing like that? <laughs> I'm just laughing. You didn't say anything. All right, Belle. Breakfast is over. Time to go hunt. Then I'll take you shopping. Oh, my gosh. Finally, something that sounds normal. I mean, great. What are we going shopping for? Books? No! Shopping for antlers! Our castle needs redecorating. Oh, that's oddly specific. Should we um, get the bill? Here you go, sir. Oh! 1990! Might as well let her keep the extra 10 cents. Aren't you going to leave a better tip for the waitress? Good idea, Belle! Here's a tip. If you become a mom and it's a boy, make sure he works out five hours a day to have big muscles. And if it's a girl, make sure she knows how to cook and clean so that she can marry a man with big muscles. Excuse me? Adam, what is wrong with you? Girls and boys should both know how to cook and clean. You shouldn't stereotype like that. Also, muscles don't matter. It's what's in the heart that counts. And you really shouldn't work out five hours a day. That's probably dangerous. Were you talking, Belle? Sorry, I had something in my teeth. I don't know what's wrong with you. You're acting like... Here you go. You know what? Have some more. Wow, how generous. Thank you so much. 
Come along, my little baloney sandwich. Right behind you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, Adam, this is the last thing I wanna be doing. Belle, there goes an animal, get it! What? <laughs> what kind of animal? Doesn't matter, go, go, go! Oh no, I missed, whoops. Belle, you broke the bow! Aw oh, man, I guess I did, shucks. All right, you did your best, time to take you shopping. So much fun when we all, <gasps> Fancy running into you here! Oh, hey, you guys! Hey, Belle. Hey, Beast. Oh, sorry. I mean, Prince Adam. I don't mind being called Beast. It's a great nickname because Beast has big what? muscles. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, you guys. He's not acting like. Come on, Belle. Stop wasting my time talking to them. The Antler store is this way. No one shops like Adam. Um, Belle, no offense, but Prince Adam's acting like a huge jerk. Yeah, like not himself, like Gaston. Tell me about it. The weird thing is Gaston is actually being super charming. I mean, I don't know, maybe he changed. Maybe I got it wrong this whole time. I don't know. Belle, come on. I need your advice on which antlers to get. Guess I better go talk him out of buying all those antlers. See you! Bye, Belle! Good luck! See, Belle? I think we need to cover the walls with them like this! Yeah, not really my taste, to be honest. What is that? You know what, Adam? Um, you keep shopping. I need to go, um, powder my nose. Yeah, um, I'll be right back. Listen, I'll trade you 50 pounds of meat for this wall of antlers. <laughs> What do you mean you don't do the Bonner system? <laughs> Gaston, what are you doing here at the mall? Getting fitted for a new suit, of course. But I'm glad you came, Belle. I know this sounds crazy, but girls like you come around once in a lifetime. I can't believe this is happening. Yeah, Belle, are you sure you want to get married to Gaston? You guys, I'm telling you, he's changed. It's a dream come true. So do you, Belle, take Belle? Bell? Bell? Bell, wake up! You have a visitor! Bell! Bell! What? What's happening? Wake up! It's morning! Dad? Prince Adam's in the living room, waiting for you! Oh no! Not that guy! I'll get rid of him! Huh? What? I thought you liked him! Listen, Adam, I just want to say... Belle, you look so beautiful! I just want to say I'm so excited that we get to spend the day together. Are we gonna go hunting? Hunting? Uh, maybe hunting for some good books. What's going on? What's wrong, Belle? I, I guess I just had a dream, a very strange, realistic dream. Hey, Dad? Yes, Belle? Where exactly did you get that pine tree syrup? You said the Enchanted Forest? Yeah, it was right there. I actually had a note on it. It said, Dear Belle's Dad, take this to Belle. And I know it was genuine because it said, this is not a trick. Uh-huh. I thought so. I smell two rotten eggs. Do you think it worked, LeFou? Uh, well, I mean, it depends on if she actually married you in the dream. Hopefully Maurice didn't wake her up before she said I do. So if she did, she'll think I'm awesome. And she'll think Adam's a beast. Exactly. You're a genius, LeFou. Hey Gaston! Hey LeFou! What you looking at? Oh, um, uh, nothing. Hey, uh, Belle! What do you think about Gaston? Yes! Do you have a sudden urge to marry me, go hunting, and decorate with antlers? I have the sudden want for Squirrel! That's your favorite, right boys? It is! Seuridae, or Squirrel, more commonly known. Oh! Here's one now! Ah! You're LeFou! I'll never read Squirrel again! Ah! <laughs> Got him. Wait, Belle! Will you marry me? In your dreams, Gaston! Not in mine. It's Friday the 13th! Wow! It hasn't been Friday the 13th in such a long time. It's like 
the first time in forever. But wait, what does that mean? It's a superstition that when Friday falls on the 13th, strange things start to happen. Strange things like you being it, Ted, you're it. Oh, Anna. <laughs> gotcha. No fair, you have ice powers. You have it so easy. No way. I never know when I'm gonna accidentally freeze someone. I would much rather be normal. I, I wish, wish I, I had, had your, your life. life. When we wish to be each other, we must have switched places. I mean, it's Friday the 13th. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Belle and Rapunzel are gonna be here any second to go shopping. Well. Well, what? We might as well embrace it. I mean, this could be fun. Yeah, you're right. We did say we want to be each other. Let's see if they can tell. Oh, Belle and Rapunzel? Okay, but be careful. Whatever you do, do not freeze anything. Hey girls, my two favorite sisters. Are you guys ready to go to the mall? Yes, I, Elsa, am so excited to go to the mall with you guys and my sister, Anna, because I'm Elsa. Okay. Are you guys feeling okay? You're acting just a little strange. Well, it is Friday the 13th and... And we are just so excited to go shopping. Uh, let's go. Oh, I love this store, Wandering Oaken's Dress Shop. Oh, fun. I want to get a new dress to impress Flynn. Yoo-hoo. Thanks a lot. Half off swimming suits, sundresses, and a sun bomb of my own invention. Yeah? Wait a second. Don't I know you from somewhere? Uh, me? No, no, I don't think so. You look familiar, but something looks different. Oh well, woohoo! Big summer blowout! Let's go to a different store. Thanks, Oaken. I mean, I've never met you before. Um, thank you! Is it me, or is Anna and Elsa acting way different than normal? They are. I think something is up. Let's split up. I'll go with Elsa and you go with Anna and we'll try to get to the bottom of this. For the first time in forever, I'm finally at the mall. Anna, that's my song, silly. Oh yeah, right. Is um, anybody in the mood for some sandwiches? I, I love sandwiches. You do, Elsa? I thought I love sandwiches, remember? Hey, Anna. Do you want to help me find a new flower for my hair? And Elsa, why don't you come help me pick out a new book? Okay. Bye, El. I mean, Anna. See you, sister. So, Anna, how's Kristoff? Oh, uh, Kristoff, you know, um, he's good. I adore him. You know, no cuter couple than uh, Anna and Kristoff. I mean, I mean, me and Kristoff. Right. Per. It's kind of cold in this mall. Oh, the cold never bothered me anyway. Oh, I mean, is it cold? It is cold. I'm so cold. We should go buy cute jackets. I love hot cocoa. Nothing goes better with a new book than a cup of hot cocoa. Me too. Oh my goodness, I love hot cocoa so much. There's nothing better on a cold day in Arendelle. This isn't hot at all. It's freezing. And there are ice cubes in it. Oh no. Well, they must have made it ice cocoa. Actually, it tastes pretty good. I can't believe I did that. I didn't even know I did it. Keep it under control, Anna. Oh, there you two are. Anna helped me pick out this cute snowflake flower for my hair. Aw, fun. Elsa and I are just drinking some iced cocoa. Iced? Uh, it's a new thing. All right, guys, what's going on? Yeah, we know something's up. You're not talking like yourselves. 
and I'm pretty sure Elsa made ice cubes appear in my cocoa. Anna! Wait, I thought you're Anna. I'm confused. Okay, fine, you got us. We wish to be each other at the same time, and probably since it's Friday the 13th, we magically swap places. But then we decided to just go with it, so here we are. <laughs> there had to be an act of true love to unfreeze her. That's it! Let's hug Rapunzel. Group hug. I think it's working! Thanks, guys! That was a close one. I had no idea how hard it was to control my ice powers. I know! I told you it was snow hard. What are we going to do, Elsa? Am I going to be stuck this way forever? I hope not. Okay, but it's still Friday the 13th. Let's wish really hard that you guys were back to normal. What happened? Well, we didn't swap back, but you and Rapunzel changed too. What are we going to do? I think I knew just who to call. Let's all meet back at my castle. My castle, Belle's castle, not Rapunzel's tower. Make sense? Okay, Belle, who did you call? I put these mittens on. Hopefully I don't freeze anybody else. I kind of like this dress, but we do need to fix this as soon as possible. I need to get back to Eugene. I mean, Flynn. He should be here any minute. Oh, I hear him coming now. Did you hear me? Wait, you look different. I'm not Belle. What did that Gaston do with Belle? Gaston didn't do anything. I'm Belle. We need your help. Nice dress, but what'd you do with that hair? It's Friday the 13th and we got all switched around. Me and Rapunzel and Anna and Elsa. Can you think of anything to help us? Oh, that's easy. All we have to do is fall in love before the last petal falls off the rose and... Wait, that's the wrong spell. Can you undo the Friday the 13th switch up? We're running out of time. Aha! I know an expert on time. Let me go ask him. Oh, the old Friday the 13th switcheroo. That's right. Can you fix it? Just use the magical hands. Uh, my hands are magic? No, silly. My hands. Aha! All I have to do is make it not Friday the 13th anymore! <laughs> for the day, but I am much happier being myself. Same here! Whoa! That was crazy! What a strange Friday the 13th! Thanks for helping us, Beast! I mean, Adam! What a crazy freaky Friday! I wonder if anyone else out there swapped places. Elsa! Anna! I feel a little weird. I feel light as a feather. Olaf? Where are you? Do you think I've lost weight? Oh, goodness! Hi there, friends. Welcome to Belle's Storytime with me, Belle. Today, we are going to be reading a story about Rapunzel and Flynn Rider, a story that actually happened to them. It all started once upon a time in a forest not so very far from here. Thank you for coming to visit my family in Corona, Flynn. My pleasure, Rapunzel. I love feeling like I'm part of a family. I hate thinking about you growing up in that orphanage all by yourself. I wasn't all alone. I had my best friend, Arnwald. We stayed up late every night reading the tales of Flanagan Ryder. That's where I got my name. Did you ever dream about who your parents might be? I always imagined they were off exploring new worlds, having adventures. For a long time, I waited for them to come back to me. But they never did. I'm so sorry, Flynn. Eh. Don't be. I loved living with no rules, no bedtime, no vegetables at dinner. And now I've got you, Rapunzel. You're the only family I need. Aw, oh, Flynn. Come on. 
What is that precious sunshine the princess of Corona up to now? Off to see her real mumsy and daddy? Ugh, kids these days, so ungrateful. Oh no, if Rapunzel becomes queen of Saporia, I might never see her or her hair again. I must stop this wedding before it begins. But how? What was that? It sounded like an owl. Whoa! Do you think that's your letter inviting you to Hogwarts? <laughs> I think it might be a little late for me to become a wizard. Yeah, you're probably right. Well, what does it say? I can't believe it. What? What? The suspense is killing me. It's a message from the Duke of Saporia. Saporia? One of the neighboring seven kingdoms? Yes, apparently he's looking for his long lost son and... And? And they think it might be me. I've been dreaming of the day I would meet my long lost son, Eugene, Prince of Saporia. And today is that day. And to think he's been gallivanting around our neighboring kingdom, Corona, all these years. <laughs> Duke, do you think Eugene might already have a girl in mind that he'd like to marry? Could be. I've heard stories of that kind-hearted Princess Rapunzel of Corona with her long, magical hair. I wonder if they've met. What a lovely idea. I hope he gets her letter and visits us soon. I'm getting older by the minute. Pardon me, your highness. A package just arrived for you. A gift? For me? Oh, goody. I wonder what it could be. Open it, your highness. Ooh. I wonder what it could be. Shiny. My, what an intriguing medallion. But who could it be from? I don't know. Perhaps it's a token of gratitude from Eugene. Well, what are you waiting for? Put it on! Uh, yeah. My, it looks magnificent! <laughs> that must be Eugene! Bring him in at once! No need. I let myself in. Wait, you're not Eugene? No, I'm not. Lovely castle you've got here. All one floor. Interesting choice. Makes it easy for people to come and go as they please, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm sorry, madam, but you'll have to come with me. Not so fast. Don't insult this beautiful young woman. Oh, stop. Just kidding. Go on. Sir? Well, what are you waiting for, guard? Answer the castle doors! Right away, your highness. Duke of Weathersby, I've made a decision. When Prince Eugene arrives, he shall be betrothed to Princess... Uh... What... what was your name again? My name? Uh... Gabriella! Yes, Princess Gabriella of... Tauronia! Charmed, I'm sure. King of Saporia, it's an honor to finally meet you. I can't believe this is actually happening. I feel the same way, my son! It's an honor, your highness. Pardon me, young lady, but the servants must enter through the back entrance. I beg your pardon? No, this is Princess Rapunzel. Of course, your highness. This was the girl I was telling you about. Yes, this is the girl I've chosen to marry. Really, Flynn? Oh, of course I do. Wait, 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 wait. Eugene, I've already chosen your queen. You have? Awkward. Yes! You shall marry Princess Gabriella of Tauronia. Who? Greetings, Prince Eugene. It is I, Gabriella of Tauronia, your future bride. Gothel? Father, your highness, this person is not who you think she is. Nonsense! She's perfectly suited to be Saporia's future queen. She's elegant, gracious... Don't forget youthful. Father, your highness, I'm sorry, but I refuse to marry this woman. Refuse? No one refuses me. I am King Fezziwig, and my orders shall be obeyed. Duke of Weathersby. Yes, sir. Remove this long-haired servant girl. We're headed to the chapel. Now? 
But, sir! Why wait? This way, my dear. I shall walk you down the aisle. Oh, goody. <sighs> Duke of Weathersby, there's been a huge mistake. Rapunzel is the girl I want to marry. Yes, and that isn't a young princess, it's... I've been ordered to take you to the chapel. I'm sorry, my dear, but the king has final say over whom the prince marries. Come on, pick up, pick up! Rapunzel? Hi! Hey girl, I've got a huge situation over here. Eugene, I mean Flynn, is about to marry Mother Gothel. What? That makes no sense! Well, he doesn't want to. It turns out he's actually the Prince of Saporia, and the king is forcing him to. Somehow Gothel has tricked the king into thinking she's the best choice to become queen. Sounds kind of fishy to me. Actually, this reminds me of when Ursula disguised herself as Vanessa and tried to fool Prince Eric. Oh my goodness, it's just like that. Can you and the other girls meet me at the Saporia Chapel ASAP? We've got to stop this wedding. Of course. We'll be right there. We are gathered here today. Oh, wait. Uh, don't we need a minister? <laughs> minister? There is no greater authority in the kingdom of Saporia than I. How rude. Kids these days. <laughs> You're telling me. Wait. What is it, Flynn? Flynn? I mean, Eugene. I have to go, um, fix my hair. No. You're not going anywhere until this wedding is complete. Wait! What now? Rapunzel, princesses, you've come to save me. How did you all get here so fast? We took on as unicorn. You have a unicorn? Never mind, we can talk about that later. King Feswig, she is not a princess. That's Mother Gothel, a villain in disguise. Villain? Who are you calling a villain? I am Princess Gabriella of Tauronia, the most youthful, beautiful, and generous princess in all seven kingdoms. Generous? You? <laughs> yeah, right. All you do is lie, cheat, and use Rapunzel's hair for its magical powers. The only person you really care about is yourself. How dare you? Have any of you given the king a medallion as a gift? A gift? You said this for me? Oh, I haven't taken it off since it arrived earlier today. You haven't? Flynn, take off the medallion! No, stop! Goodness, what's going on? Father? My son? Eugene, oh, when did you get here? You don't remember anything that's happened today? No, only that I am so happy to see you. King Fezziwig, this woman was trying to trick you and force Flynn to marry her. What? Is this true? Guards! Remove her at once! Oh, take your hands off me! I'm still a princess, you know. Actually, no, you're not. Yeah, and I'm a prince. Eugene, I am so sorry for everything. Even when you marry, it should be for love. No need to hurry. I've got a few years left as king before I retire. Really, Father? Of course! And until then, the castle door shall always be open to you. And they all lived happily ever after. The end. Thanks for listening, friends. Have a magical day!